Aster Lost in Space really impressed me. It's one of the shows that I hoped I would like, though didn't have that high of expectations for it. Though with the first episode, it blew in the expectations I had away. And as the show went further, it kept finding new ways to intrigue me, such as its fascinating cast of characters, and of course, the countless plot twists, each of which changed everything I thought I knew about the show. And it even had a fully conclusive ending, which is super rare for an anime like this. So today, for the 12 Days of Anime, I want to talk about what made the show so good, and one of my personal favorites of the year. First, the story structure. This may seem like a weird thing to say, but the structure of the show is at the foundation of why it worked so well. I mentioned this when I made a video on the first episode, and it was fascinating to see how the structure that was set up in the beginning ended up playing all throughout the story. What I mean by this, though, is the initial concept sort of mapped out how the rest of the story was going to unfold. There is a big overarching story that would span the whole series, which is their journey back home, and then there are also the smaller stories with them needing to get supplies at each plant they visited. That made it so each episode could be interesting on its own, but also contribute to the overarching story. There's also the mystery of what exactly happened to them and why that could add a lot of spice to the individual episodes. But one aspect I did not consider from the structure shown in the first episode is the role that the characters would have in the story. Every character has a really interesting backstory and issues that they are trying to deal with. Through their journey on the Astra, they are forced to confront the problems that they faced back at home and also grow as people. One of the things I liked is how each of them had some sort of struggle with their family, but then on the Astra, they were able to find a sort of new family. And something special here is that the show is able to justify all the extreme character backstories. To make a show interesting, you don't want just ordinary characters. You want special ones that have overcome a lot or just inspiring characters. But it can feel like a stretch if every character of a cast has a super tragic story surrounding them. In Astra's case though, it made perfect sense why the characters were all on the ship and why they came from the backgrounds that they did. But of course, the biggest thing I loved about the show was the plot twists. For the first half of the show, the story was moving along mostly as expected. Each planet had some adventure, some character exploration, with a touch of comedy too. And actually, the comedy was one of the better things about the show that I was not expecting. It made the show just feel more optimistic, fun, and not super dark as a story like this could easily be. Anyway, near the end, we got some major plot twists that changed everything. There are two in particular that stood out as memorable, but there are a number of smaller ones too that kept the show interesting near the end. And the plot twists were some of the best I've seen too. They changed everything we thought we knew about the show, but also made complete sense. There's a lot of like subtle foreshadowing about the twist too, like things that don't quite make sense, but they're small enough that no one questions them much. The twists also take advantage of the fact that the show takes place in a science fiction universe, so they can add technology elements that we don't have today. And that makes it so these twists would not work in any other type of anime, which let them really be a surprise here. But perhaps the biggest surprise is the show's ending. And not that the ending had surprises in it, but that was just a good solid ending. It felt complete. Many single core shows, especially manga adaptations, make the viewer want more. In fact, going into the final episode, I thought that's what was going to happen here. They were going to wrap up the story for the season, but at the same time set up a plot for a season two. But instead we got an ending that tied everything up. And beyond that, it showed how the characters' lives were changed by everything they went through, and then how they continued to live. In a way, it, it kind of felt too perfect but it also gave a great sense of closure, which is pretty much unheard of in anime. Now, not to say I wouldn't take more if we got it, but there is no need for more. All this together makes Astro one of the best shows of the year. It's one that mostly flew under the radar, but in my personal opinion, it deserves more hype than most of the big shows out there. So if you've not seen it yet, give it a try. It really is out of this world.